Hi friends, this is Marilyn from TarotClarity.com and today's video is um, to satisfy the request of one of my subscribers whose name, and I hope I'm pronouncing it properly, is Gazalem Ale. So Gazalem, this is for you. Um, last week or so, I did a video on the French deck of playing cards that came to be after the Tarot of Marseille fell out of out of fashion for playing um, sometime around the turn of the uh, 1800s uh, the French decided they wanted their own deck you know that was more in keeping with you know their lifestyle and who they were because even though the Tarot of Marseille is associated with France the French themselves felt that it was Italian in nature um, now this particular deck I know the 15th card has a photographer in one of the scenes, right? So this card, this deck, had to have been made, you know, after 1850, you know, um, I believe. But I don't have any dates on it. I don't know if anybody knows for sure. And I don't know if there were variations of this because surely if this didn't come to be until 1850s or 1860s, something like that, late enough to have photography, I do believe that they were, they had already switched from Terra of Marseille to this style of deck, so I don't know what other image they would have had for the 15th car. Now, the reason um, that Gazalam wanted me to do the video is because in, in that video that I've talked about. I had also referenced a German playing deck of tarot, which had also supplanted the Marseille style when being played in Germany. And here it is. And Gazelon was really interested in, in this particular deck. So I don't know about the game that is played with these decks, or if these are, you know, totally supposed to be you know, um, referencing the fool, these two particular cards. But in that video, I did mention how in this particular deck, this card, whether it's the fool or whatever, <laughs> is depicted as a music maker, which there is some tradition for in tarot, um, the tarot fool. He's also got the feather in his head, his hat rather, and he's got like a courtly life look to him. And in the German deck, and what is it called? It's called, well, it's, it's put out by Piotnik Tarok. That's it. No fuss, no muss. And let me see what cards. There aren't any info cards, I don't think so. No, just... That's it. So let's compare it. So they're quite unlike these. So as far as I know, um, these cards are not intended for cardamancy. They were, I believe, strictly for play. Although I pretty much believe that probably there are people who are using them to divine with. I'm not going to compare every single one. Yeah, they're quite different. So I believe that the French, um, with these cards, depicted scenes from French life, country and city life, and perhaps the Germans did the same. I'm trying to keep the orientation the same so I don't mess it up. kissing a statue in a park.
So this looks like a courtly or romantic card. As does this. So a lot of these, you know, so far seem to be focused on, you know, romance and family. This one looks flirtatious, maybe. And uh, work. You better get off your lazy backside, stop drinking, and get some work done. <laughs> So this is from an, a new land, an exotic scene. And this is more in keeping with European terrain, but this is different. And as we mentioned, no photographer in the 15th card. So Germany obviously has their own depictions. Hmm. His hand is on her throat. Now this is inter interesting because sometimes, um, especially in like the tarot, of, the anonymous tarot of Paris, I think, and uh, some other decks where we see the 18th card, a woman engaged in spinning thread or wool or something, right? So this is kind of interesting. I mean, this has no association with the moon card. I mean, the moon's not even in the picture, but uh, it's kind of interesting that I, it, I just happen to notice that they're doing something with thread here as well. I 
I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> So I guess sometimes some of these images do show other lo locations or other influences in German life. Maybe there's a little bit of an opium den look about that. <laughs> and then, of course, the um, pip cards are done thusly. But I must say, they did it so much better than the French, than the French deck. Um, and I pointed that out, how much I dislike how they chop off the number. Uh, excuse me, the icon, right? I mean, we do have the French to thank for club hearts, you know, uh, spades and diamonds, but I don't like the way they did it on their cards. But the German deck here really seems... To have done a fine job of it. They're elegant, right? So there we have it, friends. Gallium, I hope this is what you had in mind. And for those of you who don't mind going down different rabbit holes every now and then, thank you for watching. And until next time, peace and stay well.